is equal to I integrate the x squared one third x cubed plus c from two to three. The top number is put in first. It's one third three to be cubed plus c. And then you minus it from the bottom number, one third two to be cubed plus c, which is equal to a third to cubed three to be cubed is nine plus c minus h over three and minus c. The minus outside the bracket changes the signs in. So therefore, what happens to the constant? It cancels. And in the integration you will be doing in real life is a definite integral. There are numbers. So that's 9 minus 8 over 3, which is 27 over 3 minus 8 over 3, which is 19 over 3. And what you've worked out is an area. And I'll give you a real practical application of that area now. If I drew the graph y equal to x squared. Yes? If I drew the graph y equal to x squared, it would have the point 0, 0. When x is 0, what's what? 0. It would have the point 1. When x is 1, what would y be? It would have the point 1, 1. When x is 2, what would y be? 4. Yes? When x is 2, y is x to be squared. When x is 3, what would y be? 9. Yes? So it would bring the 4 down, it would have that shape of a curve. It's a quadratic graph. Yes? When I integrate that curve, when I integrate x squared dx from 2 to 3, what I've actually calculated there is the area between the curve and the x-axis. So in real life, what you've calculated is an area. Yes? So, the curve y equal to x squared, if I integrate it from 2 to 3, I've calculated the area under the curve from x equal to 2 to x equal to 3. That's the area. If I integrate it from 1 to 3, I'd have got all that area. Yes? So when you integrate a curve, you get the area between the curve and the x. Now today I just want to teach you how to do the definite integral. If I integrated x cubed minus 64 over x minus 4 from 1 to 3d, x. Well, I have to integrate a quotient. How do you integrate a quotient? You divide. So you get the x minus 4, and you divide it into x cubed, plus no x squared, plus no x minus 64. Of course, I could have factorized the top if I wish. x into x cubed, x squared. x squared by x, x cubed x squared by minus 4, minus 4x four squared. Change the sign the lower line and add 4x squared and no x. x into 4x squared plus 4x times 4x by x, 4x squared and 4x by my, minus 16x. Change the sign the lower line and add 16x minus 64. x will go into that plus 16 times 16x minus 64 it can give me a remainder of 0. So that's the same as the integral from 1 to 3 of x squared plus 4x plus 16 dx, which is equal to integrate x squared, 1 third x cubed, plus 4x, 4x squared over 2, 2x two squared, plus 16x plus c from 1 to so I put in the 3 first. A third of 3 to be cubed, 9, plus twice 3 to be squared, 18, plus 16 times 3, plus c, minus, I put in the 1. A third of 1 to be cubed, a third, and twice 1 to be squared, plus 2, plus 15, sorry, plus that will give me, adding up this side, I'll have 8, 9, and 27, 70, 85. Uh, 27, 
or 6075 plus C minus 16, 18 and a third. We'll say 18 and one third plus C, which is equal to 75 plus C minus 18 and a third minus C. So what always happens with C when you're using the definite integral? They cancel. So what C was is irrelevant. Yes? 75 minus 18 and a third. Pardon? Okay, well, if you put it all over 3, I'm on. Well, it leaves me with 56 and 2 thirds. And that's an area, square unit, because I have calculated an area. Have you any questions? So, your integration is the same. The definite integral, you just have to input your numbers to evaluate your integral. Now let me give you a few more definite integrals. The integral of sine 2x dx from 0 to pi over 2 would be integrate sine 2x a half cos 2x plus c from 0 to pi over so that's a half times the cosine of twice pi over 2 plus c minus 1 half the cosine of twice 0 plus c. That's equal to a half times the cosine of 180 degrees plus c minus a half times the cosine of 0 plus Cosine of 180 degrees minus 1 by a half minus a half plus c minus a half the cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, so minus a half minus c. So that's minus 1. Is that all right? Any questions? All right. So the definite integral, you integrate. And then you'll input your numbers, the top number first, and then the bottom number second. Let me give you another example or two. This will be difficult. I think it's a little bit beyond where we are now. The integral of x squared minus x over x plus 3 dx, that integral from 0 to 1. It's the integral of a quotient, so you have to divide. You get the x plus 3, and you divide it into x squared minus x x will go into x squared, x by x, x squared and x by 3, 3x. Change the sign the lower line and add, minus 4x. x into that, minus 4. Minus 4 by x, minus 4x. Minus 4 by 3, minus 12. Change the sign the lower line and add. So there's a remainder. It doesn't divide in evenly. So therefore, that integral of x squared minus x, over x plus 3 dx from 0 to 1 is equal to the integral of x minus 4 plus 12 over x plus 3 dx from 0 to 1. Now do you understand how I did that? It divided in x minus 4 times, but there was a remainder. So if I was dividing 5 into 12, it would go in twice, yes? And the two fives are 10. What will be left over? 2. So I'd say 5 divides into 12. Twice and 2, 6. Yes? The 2 left over is a 2 over 5. Here the 12 left over is 12 over what? x plus 3. Integrate x. A half x squared. Minus 4. Minus 4x. 
does 12 over f 12 times the log of x plus b plus b. That's the 1 over x integral from 0 to 1. So you put in your 1 first, the half, <coughs> minus 4, does 12 times the log of 4 plus c minus the 0, 0 minus 0 plus 12 times the log of 3 plus c, which is equal to minus 7 over 2 plus 12 log 4 plus c minus 12 times the log of 3 minus c, which is minus 7 over 2, the c's cancel, plus 12 times the log of 4 minus 12 times the log of 3. Any questions? I know that the log of A minus the log of B is what? The log of A over B. And I know the log, the log of A to the power of B is B times the log of A. Now if I wanted to simplify 12 times log 4 minus 12 times the log of 3. I'd have to take 12 outside first and I'd be left with the log of 4 minus the log of 3 which is 12 times. The log of 4 minus the log of 3 is the log of 4 over 3. So it'll be minus 7 over 2 plus 12 times the log of 4 over but that's just your definite integral when you're putting in numbers. Now more